Some bright morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to that home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. I'll fly away, O oh glory, I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away.
good time and tonight uh, we're celebrating my 70th birthday so <laughs> a little over 50 years ago my kid brother Warren and I got on Frontier Airlines and we flew from North Platte Nebraska to Columbus Nebraska to Grand Island Nebraska to Lincoln Nebraska to Omaha, Nebraska, <laughs> and if 
eventually ended up in New York City, 1978, my first trip, my first trip to New York and my first Broadway show. I haven't looked back. It's been over 50 years and I've had a great, great life and I'm so very grateful for my time uh, in the music business. Was it really all that sweet in that house and along that street? Memory clouds in a thousand ways walking above my yesterday. Did it happen? Was it real? Eyes can't see what the heart can feel. Visions vanish beneath the gaze. Walking among my yesterdays. Oh, oh, oh. Wait for me. Like a picture. Let Kit Bridges and Don Zeitz are two dear, dear friends of ours, and uh, they've been with the Pass Good Times Festival uh, since its inception, and uh, they're great, great friends, very talented artists, and I'm delighted that uh, they're joining us here tonight uh, in a medley from 
George Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, Dr. Kit Bridges, and Donald Dykes.
So a couple of years ago, uh, the College of Music uh, did an evening of Court Vile music. And uh, Court Vile is near and dear to me, and, and uh, it's been the music of Court Vile and, and the, the, the shows of Court Vile have been very, very good to me uh, throughout the, the years. And uh, this illustrious and estimable trio uh, did Surabaya Johnny. And I, I just thought we should share it again uh, for those of you who weren't fortunate enough to hear it. It's, it's, a, it's a, one of my favorite pieces and some of my favorite uh, musicians and artists. So, ladies and gentlemen, Surabaya Johnny. Yeah. 
No <clears throat> costume change here. <laughs> Big hat, no cattle. <laughs> this is the actual cattle brand that belonged to my great great or my great grandfather, uh, the Double E brand, and uh, that's the. String quartet tonight. Carl took her hand and smiled patiently. My dear, it was something one felt in the air, as you feel the spring coming, or a storm in summer. I didn't see anything, simply I felt my blood go quicker. I felt, how shall I say it, an acceleration of life. After I got away from it all, it was all too delicate, too intangible to write about. Willa Cather, O Pioneers. In 1919, 1913, they had just opened the magnificent Grand Central Station in New York City. And a desperate Wall Street type who had fallen into the deepest, darkest depths of degradation, depression, and debt walked into Grand Central Station and demanded of the Ticketmaster a ticket to hell. Without hesitation, the Ticketmaster gave him a ticket to Seneca, Nebraska. <laughs> now the Cowboys told me growing up, Mark, if you're going through hell, you keep on going. You just might find yourself at the gateway to paradise. Well, as it so happens, just nine miles west of Seneca, and in an entirely different time zone, deep in the heart of Hooker County, is my hometown, Mullen, Nebraska. Now, Roger Welsh, a Nebraska storyteller, professor at the University of Nebraska for a number of years, great writer and humorist, said, you know, Mark, it's not the end of nowhere, but you can see it from here. <laughs> My hometown, Mullen, Nebraska. So this little next section is dedicated to them. Joe Luloff, who this morning 
was in Florida. Uh, he had a concert last night in Florida, and he flew back this, uh, this morning just to be here tonight uh, for you all. Uh, with, uh, and it's going to be joined by the double E brand, String Quartet, the finest string ensemble north of the Dismal River. The Dismal River is a few miles south of my hometown, and uh, it was named by the cowboys the Dismal River, and hence you can see uh, where I get my sense of humor. Ladies and gentlemen, Joseph Luloff and the double E brand string quartet. sings raggedy music to the cattle as he swings back and forward in the saddle on a horse that is syncopated gated and there's such a funny feeling to the roar of his repeater how they run when they hear the fella's gun because the western folks all know he's a highfalutin rootin tootin son of a gun from arizona ragtime cowboy talk about your cowboy ragtime cowboy joe he always sings raggedy music to the cattle as he swings back and forward in the saddle on a horse that is syncopated gated and there's such a funny meter to the roar of his repeater how they run when they hear the fella's gun because the western folks all know he's a highfalutin rootin tootin son of a gun from arizona ragtime cowboy syncopating cowboy ragtime cowboy joe
Joseph Lulock, the double E brand string quartet, the finest string ensemble north of the Dismal River. For 14 solid years, though she made me blush when she one night boldly said to me, you've never kissed me once, John, though I'd like you to, she cried. Why don't you call me pretty names? I hung my head and sighed. I'm shy, Mary Ellen, I'm shy. It does seem so naughty, oh my. Kissing is nice, so I've often heard say. But still, how to do it, I don't know the way. So you put your arms round my waist. I promise I won't scream or cry. And you do the kissing and cuddling instead, cause I'm shy, Mary Ellen, I'm shy. On a date with Mary Ellen, we came here in the fall, for they were playing music right here in Fairchild Hall. They played some Arnold Schoenberg and some Schreckers, Der Feller Klang. She asked me if I liked it. I replied, I tried. <laughs> I tried, Mary Ellen, I tried. But oh, Mary Ellen, I lied. Schoenberg is nice, but I much prefer Beanbender, Sullivan, who doesn't like bacon, Jocquin, Geringer, El Wapo, Lorenz, what music they're making. But ragtime is more of my line, and she took it as some sort of sign. So we kept on dating, and I kept on stating, I'm shy, Mary Ellen, I'm shy. That exquisite use of the evanescent, non-Euclidean, refrigerarian mode was inspired by Dr. Sly and Dr. Callahan. <laughs> I thank thee. <laughs> To Mary, Mary Ellen, I went to church one morn. While the party with the bride went to church, I stayed outside. For quite a while I lingered while she waited to be wed. And she came out and said, come in. I don't like to, I said. I'm shy, Mary Ellen, I'm shy. It does seem so naughty, oh my. But still we got married and got home all right. 
and stayed up with our friends and had fun until night. Then they wish Mary Ellen goodbye and started to go. So did I. She said, you're not going. I said, yes, I am. Cause I'm shy, Mary Ellen. I'm shy. I don't know how I managed to do this, but um, <clears throat> You know, this, this wonderful, wonderful, I don't know if you were here uh, a couple of weeks ago, but they had a magnificent week with the, with the uh, wind ensemble, the concert band, the symphony orchestra, and then at, at homecoming, they, they literally had 1,200 people marching and playing um, the 1812 overture at halftime. It was, it was just outstanding. What an uplifting week to see uh, these wonderful, my wonderful colleagues and these wonderful young people making music and, and creating, you know, a great sense of joy. And for some reason, I've inveigled uh, Kevin Senatola to, to join us this evening. And I'm very, very grateful. Uh, it's uh, by the band director at stake week, so uh, we've done so. They're on their way from Omaha. They should be here on Thursday. So I want to thank this wonderful, wonderful ensemble. They're part of uh, the, it's the festival orchestra, but in truth, they're part of the, the string, or the uh, uh, woodwind ensemble, and they're marvelous young people who have taken their Sunday night and, and agreed to join us here. So ladies and gentlemen, maestro Kevin Senatol and the Pass a Good Time, Foxtrot and Ragtime Orchestra.
I want to thank you all for being here this evening. Uh, I want to thank my, my colleagues and, and, the, and the young people, the young artists also, who have given up their Sunday night to come in and, and have the evening with us. I want you all to know that afterwards, backstage, we have uh, some uh, cake and cookies, cookies uh, some uh, light hors d'oeuvres, and uh, some yuhu for those of you who are, uh, uh, you know, connoisseurs of fine milk like, <laughs> like products. Uh, I, can't, I can't leave this evening without thanking our, our dear friend, Dr. Jean uh, Kapenga, for making all of this possible. So, Jean, uh, I think you're out there. Anyway, thank you so, so much. Uh, and uh, we'd like to close with the traditional, when the saints go marching in. When the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, Lord, I want to be in that number when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the sun refused to shine, oh, when the sun refused to shine, Lord, I When the sun refused to shine Oh, when the trumpet sounds a call Oh, when the trumpet sounds a call Lord, I want to be in that number When the trumpet sounds a call When the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, Lord, I want to be in that number when the saints go marching in. Thank you all. Thank you. Everybody now, when the saints go marching in, everybody, when the saints go marching in, go, 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 go. Cake and cookies, don't forget. Thank you all. Bravi tutti. One more time, everybody. One more time.